since yesterday I had to start late, I thought today I'd start early to make up for it. So good morning. Uh, I'm Julian Harty. Um, some of you have met me. If not, chat to me later on. I'm in the bug bash uh, for the Sodium 3 stuff. I've been working in mobile properly for about 10 years. Uh, but this talk is more general about user experience on web and on mobile. Uh, and happy to take questions through, but I have got quite a lot of material, so sometimes I'll move your question to the end. So the first thing we want to do is to understand what does UX or user experience mean for people. Uh, I picked a couple of examples. I think these are pertinent for many of us in our lives today. Um, I suspect that some of you now use Uber and Ola cabs, and you are familiar with booking taxis in the good old days when we normally phoned someone up and said, please can we have a cab to take us to whatever. And of course, you've got the tuk-tuks and all the rest of it around India, which help us to get from place A to place B. Now, one of the things that's very clear to me is that the companies such as Ola Cabs are transforming the market. And they're transforming it in part by changing the user experience. Uh, gone are the days when I would fly to a foreign country and try and work out who the heck's gonna take me in a cab how much they're ripping me off, and just which route they're taking me to the city that I thought was five kilometers away. And we seem to be driving forever and ever in the wrong direction. Because these days, we've got mobile devices, we know who our driver is, they've been rated by someone else, you know, they've got four point something scores, they've got 57 reviews. We can actually see in real time where we're going, if there's a problem, we know how to complain and who to complain to. So this is transforming our user experiences. And it's transforming it more for some of us than others. And by that, um, I think that some people have been treated worse in general by taxi companies than others in the past, uh, particularly women uh, traveling alone. It's something I've seen and observed quite a bit in life. But the people who are more vulnerable tended to suffer more. But the industry is now moving on. So the, the feelings and the emotions and the user experience is what we personally feel. It's based on using something. We can't have a user experience without using something. So you have a user experience of the conference. You have a user experience for those who stayed yesterday evening and listened to the music, and some people played the musical instruments. And it's essentially what we do, and always using the system. It involves a number of different factors. Uh, so for instance, it's to do with things like credibility. So I don't know what companies you work for, what your systems are, but one of the reasons people use your system is because you're credible. If you weren't trustworthy, people wouldn't use your systems. It's to do with desirability. So uh, how many of you have got iPhones?